Let's look at somebody who's been a smoker. Uh, this is very, very impressive mm. to me. You and I were looking at this earlier. Now, this is, so there's the vocal folds there. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That we're in the That's same right. vocal cords. That's right. They same look ones. a different color. Everything is very red, and this is one of the signs that you see, is that you cannot tell the difference between the color of the vocal folds and the color of the surround. Everything is red and irritated and angry looking. It almost looks burned, doesn't it? It looks like it's burned. Mm -hmm. When you look at that, do you say, oh no, I've got to talk to this patient? Absolutely. What's in the future for this patient if they go on and smoke? I can look at, uh, on the right side of the screen, the right vocal fold from this way, it'd be the left one, but the, on the right side, there's a couple little bubbly little things on the bottom. That's right. What's going to happen to this person? That is a precancer of the vocal folds, and that actually, we removed that to see if that was cancer because you cannot tell by looking at it. So it is very important, and this may not sound different from just somebody with a little irritation, so it's very important to have your vocal folds examined. If I'm a smoker, I've been smoking a pack a day, and I've been smoking, I don't smoke, but if I've been smoking a pack a day for 10 years, 15 years, <clears throat> I've got hoarseness sometimes in the morning or my voice or changes or people ask me if I've got a cold. What should they do? They need to go see their ENT and have them look at those vocal folds. If you find this early, what's the cure? Pretty good or pretty bad? It's very curable if you find it early, Bob. Oh, that's great. So it's that's very great. important.